feel like this is festive enough better. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nutty Foodie Fitness here. Today I'm not actually going to be filming a video with fairy lights over me but I do feel like this adds to the festive look. In today's video we are going to be baking. I asked you guys over on Instagram whether you'd like me to film a bake with me and 98% of you voted yes and the other 2% of you were clever enough to not want uh, food poisoning. Um, gotta give the people what they want. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm hoping to make these super super cute Christmassy styled cupcakes. I've seen them a lot on Pinterest and I think they are so adorable so I'm hoping today to recreate these things with a slight protein vibey twist. I've just had a massive delivery come in from my protein and so I'm hoping to use a lot of the products that I have got in this recipe so hopefully today create something magical hopefully edible too if you're excited if you're hyped please smash the thumbs up button it really helps me out and I'm also recording this intro with fairy lights around me so I feel like for that I deserve a thumbs up and also for the fact that I am purposely wearing red just like for the extra Christmas vibe guys I'm trying out here okay I couldn't find my Christmas jumper thank god this is also my I'm fully my protein out okay so I'm gonna put the links to all the products that I'm using in the description box below I'm excited all right let's get into it bloody lights <laughs> Before we continue, I just want you guys to know that I haven't actually made the cupcakes that we are about to make together in this video. I will be putting instructions in the description box below. So, I'm going to show you the main things that we need. Hello? Some bananas. Some eggs. A pinch of baking powder. Some type of proteins. Peanut butter is another essential. Always, every single day of the year. Oats. Got the MyProtein Instant Oats. You don't need to blend them, but you can as well use Quaker Oats. Either is fine. A baking tray would probably help, as well as some muffin cases. I've gone extra Santa 3D ones. Oh, and this is also optional, by the way, in case you want extra flavour. Peanut butter flavour drops, my absolute favourite. The toffee flavour drops. But as I said, it's optional because a lot of the flavour will be coming from the protein itself, which is why I personally use protein in, like, my oats for instance and then so these are for the toppings now i've got chocolate truffles bread of course some reese's got m m's for decorating purposes i have some toffee fee candy eyes milk chocolate chips Ooh. <laughs> peanut butter brand new vegan cup this is absolutely essential not all of these but i was thinking this for uh, for snacking these pretzels which we are definitely going to need oh and these are just different flavored protein that i have as i've mentioned in many videos the salted caramel is my favorite followed by Vanilla. Let's be honest, it's not a lot of... Oh, I forgot to say. And a blender. What have I got myself into? Vanilla flavoured way. I wish I could have been and never gone no regret. One and a half scoops. This could be a controversial move, but you know, I like to live life on the edge. I feel like raspberry and vanilla go. Just a handful of frozen raspberries. It's tasting good, which is the main thing. And you know, you know what they say. The chefs, you know, you, they taste as they go. <laughs> Tastes really good. Raspberry, bananary, vanillary goodness. At this point, I really need to find out how much one can eat of like warm eggs. It's going down. <laughs> it smells really good. The next one we're gonna make is the dark chocolate chocolate chips peanut butter. So this is gonna be the nutty one. These are so cute. Four cupcakes. I mean, not four, there's eight. 
You want to fill it, but obviously not to the top because I'm hoping they're going to grow. Okay, my arm's about to drop off. This is a workout. This is a workout. <laughs> it's a skill to record this and pour at the same time, let me tell you that. Preheated the oven to uh, 180. I should also probably add that if it wasn't for me eating the mixture along the way, <laughs> We'd probably have more filled cupcakes. I'll put these in and then we'll get on with the chocolate ones. Plan? Cool. We're going in. Goodbye. Okay, so trying out the new dark chocolate and salted caramel protein. It smells both chocolatey and caramelly. As one would expect. So I'm gonna go in for one scoop and a half like before. I mean, I'm hoping these measurements work because instant oats, one scoop, two scoops, I think two eggs. Magical ingredient, peanut butter. Fresh tub feels. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. For this, you will definitely need an essential peanut butter spoon. Before you guys ask me where I got it from, I got it as a gift. But I'm sure you can find these online on Amazon or something. Let's just go right in. The smell. Dreamy. One big tablespoon. Well, it's probably two. Two tablespoons of peanut butter or almond butter. A nutty substance of your choice. Let's get close up action of this goodness. The most underwhelming close up. Peanut butter all in there. <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a blend now and then add in the chocolate chips. <laughs> wow. It was at this moment Steph knew she <laughs> up. Definitely didn't see that there. Kids, please don't put your spoons in a blender. They're growing. Okay, definitely needs more time. Well, that wasn't meant to happen. I wasn't really going for that kind of, um, that kind of look. They do smell nice, however. Why do they look like that? Yeah, this is coming out clean. They're cooked at least. At least there is a lot of space for the topping situation. I think on the positive side here. I know I'm probably not filling you guys with a lot of hope right now. Me neither. We're gonna make this work though. If you're wondering what on earth happened here with the colour difference, there wasn't enough mixture so I've added in a banana. So it's essentially exactly what I did with the previous ones. Also just want to say at this point in the video, I've just been... <laughs> enjoying the chocolate salted caramel so i can confirm that raw it tastes phenomenal i'm just about to spice things up the vegan peanut butter cups mm. it looks very similar to the normal one straight in there and we are gonna go to town on these chocolate ones I'm just gonna sprinkle these on because who doesn't love like chocolate chips got i've got one more peanut butter cup this one is the chosen one so just gonna put that right in there they're going in. Wish them luck. Oh my god, look at that peanut butter cup that's melting in there. Ooh, wee! Oh, this one's got two cases. It's a bit greedy of you. Wow, look at that peanut butter cup. These look like little aliens. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave these to um, cool and calm down a little bit. <laughs> and then we will get on to the decorating phase. I'll see you guys in a YouTube second. Okay, <clears throat> the cupcakes have cooled down. Cupcakes are at the ready. Chocolate, salted caramel, banana, and peanut butter cupcakes. And then these are the banana, vanilla, and raspberry cupcakes. So the plan of action is to now Assemble all these bits, white chocolate, milk chocolate, chocolate hazelnut spread, chocolate truffles and Reese's 
I have toffee fee, M&M's, peanut butter, the pretzels to make the reindeers, fingers crossed. So, first thing I'm gonna do. No real idea how this is gonna pan out. I'm gonna grab. Oh. If you've not yet tried this, it's essentially like chocolate spread. Going over on there, and I'm literally gonna coat it. I think I went in a bit too much there. Although there's no such thing as too much. I'm then going to grab these pretzels. Oh, I didn't realize you can actually cut them so you don't open everything. My bad. I've got the pretzels at the ready. Two of these to hopefully form reindeer majigs, antlers. Then I've just grabbed a toffee fee, ouch. And I'm gonna use that as like the mouth part. They're all gonna look slightly different. Then I've got my magic eyes. I'm gonna use obviously the chocolate spread as the sticking component. This is fiddly. You know what, I think this actually works. I got small M&Ms, chocolate ones, so these are fake, they don't actually count. My favorite are peanut M&Ms. Over the peanut butter ones or the salted caramel ones, you cannot beat a chocolate peanut M&M. Comment down below if you also agree. What we need is either the red or the brown for Rudolph's. I feel like peanut butter can also work. Too much. I got carried away. Just a little bit of chocolate on top of that. In fact, we don't really need to put a nose on that one. I've just realized it has one. That one will be the one that goes without. So that's the vibe. Is that a reindeer? <laughs> I feel like that kind of works. I'm gonna try another one, but obviously with a red nose and see. I'm absolutely smothering these in chocolate. I feel like these are just gonna be a bit of a mix and match. They don't all need to be the same, you know? It's probably gonna look so over the top, but we live once, okay? I mean, I don't know about you, but I personally feel like Rudolph has just come to life. Can you just all welcome Rudolph into the video? Rudolph has just entered the video. Degrees and nine to five and I've been working after work since last September. Working after work, yeah. I stay up late on the weekdays. Late on the weekdays. I never tell when we say. Oh. I never want to look back and wish I got quite a few little reindeers coming along here. They are looking pretty cute, though I do say so myself. I'm gonna recreate like a snowman, the mouth, the nose. It's not as cute, but it could work. I do also just wanna say that if you're not a massive chocolate fan, although I don't really know anyone that isn't, you could also use peanut butter. I'm gonna go with the white chocolate and see if I can make some snowmen. I hope I don't have chocolate all over my face. This is so nice. If you guys haven't tried it out, honestly, get your hands on this white chocolate spread. It is beautiful. Dollop of that, get a muffin, and again, literally just spread it over. I feel like I'm being so generous. Might be going overboard. By the way, I don't think I actually mentioned we're having like a family gathering tomorrow, which is why I thought to make these muffins. And then I thought, make a YouTube video too, because I'm sure you guys want to know how to make these. Right guys? Okay, so I've got white chocolate on that. I mean, I could use a carrot, but I'm... Carrot on a muffin, don't really think it's gonna work. I mean, <laughs> I feel like it's not as cute, but it does kind of still work. They're actually a little bit ugly. <laughs> the snowmen are a little bit ugly in comparison to the reindeers. Do I make more snowmen or do I make more reindeers? I'm gonna make more reindeers. These chocolate truffles from my protein. I kinda of need to cut that in half. Oh, that worked. I mean, one is definitely bigger than the other one, but <laughs> no one needs to know that. Just stopping mid reindeer production to remind you all to all embrace the unique body that you have. You see these pretzels, guys? These antlers aren't like the other one. That doesn't mean it makes them any less special than any of the others. So please, guys, embrace your uniqueness. Let's carry on.
and of course be very generous with your peanut butter servings. Don't worry about it not being like smooth, we want that rustic effect. No. I think that's it. And these are the finished products. So we've got some snowmen here. Kind of looks a bit like Olaf. Standard kind of Christmassy coloured ones. Then we have the peanut butter ones. And then of course all the reindeers. And I know there's only one Rudolph, but let's just be honest, Rudolph looks cuter. Nutty, chocolate, protein, Christmassy creations done and dusted. I have no idea how they're gonna taste, but I mean, they look good, so hopefully they deliver. I really do hope you have enjoyed this video. Something very different. I am not really a baker, <laughs> as you've probably realised by now. But yeah, hopefully this has given you a little bit more ideas of how to make things Christmassy affied. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any other video idea in mind that you'd like to see me try out or attempt to anyway, please let me know and I will try my best to deliver. Again, thanks so much for watching. Please smash the thumbs up button if you're watching this and believe this to be one of the cutest reindeer muffins you have ever seen. And I will see you guys in another video. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay nutty, my friends. That doesn't work. The tripod's currently behaving like Bambi. It's literally falling every 30 seconds. Yeah, look, it literally just lost a leg there. That's my stomach rumbling. I've literally just had breakfast.